Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the additional skill RPA developer series where we are looking at what additional skill can an RPA developer can have which can help us in our day to day automation. And the first topic which we have picked is the databases. In the previous videos of the playlist, we have seen how I can install the SSMS, basics of databases, SQL statements to create table, insert retrieve data, how can I update the table, what are the aggregate functions and what are the clauses and how actually can you use the clauses. In case you are not aware of any of this and you do not have the SQL server installed on your computer, you can watch this playlist where I am giving you all the instruction step by step. The link to the playlist is available in the description. This would be our agenda where we are going to see what exactly are the comments, why they are useful, how I can use them, what are the single line comments and what is a multi line comments in SQL Server. Before getting started, in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the latest updates. Having said that, let us move to the SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so I am back in my SQL Server Management Studio. The first thing first, we are going to connect to our server and the databases, right? So I simply go here and I hit connect. In case you don't have any of this, there is a dedicated video. The first video, please watch that video and you would get all of this, okay? So as you are following along, we have this database which is called UiPath insert that database i have got some table the first table is the temp table we have the product table and we have the employees table right let's go to the ui path and hit this guy which is called new query okay and just try to execute some statement right let's say select star from products okay i execute this and we are getting everything whichever is available in the product tables right let me write one more statement select star from temp tv okay i execute this and i am getting all the data which is in temp tv right now let's say i want to count the number of records so i'll simply write select count of star let's say from products okay and i execute this so you would notice that to execute the statements individually i have to select and then execute what would happen if i simply go here and i execute this complete statement in the output i am getting three results at first second and the third because there are three queries right let's say there is a long set of query and every time i do not want to delete this but i want to preserve it Basically, I want to make sure that this query is available with me, but I do not want to execute it or I simply want to exclude it from the execution when I run this complete statement, right? So I have total one, two, three queries. My objective is I do not want to delete this, but I want to exclude it from the execution. How I can do that? That is where UE introduce you to something which is called comments. Now, what is a comment? Using the comments make the script easier to read and understand that we will see. The second thing is we can prevent the SQL statement to be executed. I can control. And the last bit it is a good practice to have comments because that way you can easily read and understand as we have seen in the first point. right? So I'll explain this thing that how it is making our life easier. But the first comment which I want to show is the single line comment. Absolutely simple statement. You just have to put these two minus signs minus minus and which will comment your statement, right? So, but the thing is it would only comment one line at a time. How does this happen in a real time? Let's go back to our SQL server and see that. So here, as you can see, I have total three statements. When I was executing, I am getting three data sets, right? Let's say I only want to execute the last one, this one. So for the first one, I can simply go here and I put minus minus. That way you would notice the color is now changed to green, which means that 
now sql server understand that this is a comment i can ignore this and i no longer have to execute right so if i go and execute it now you would see i'm only getting the two records i'll comment this as well and i execute now i am getting a single if i go and execute this as well comment this as well i am getting nothing and it says command completed successfully so whatever i am doing here like this and like this this is a single line comment right because at a time i am allowed to comment only a single statement it can be select it can be insert right so i hope the concept of the single line statement is clear that if you want to comment a single line in any of the query you just use this one okay how actually i would use it in a real time situation okay let's see this guy first i have this so select count of uh, let me just write in sql statement select star from products and i am saying where product id is equal to 211 right now if i have to execute this i am getting only two statement but let's say i only want to get all the products right so you can simply go and comment like this as well and now if you'll execute you'll only get the complete one sql will ignore this statement right so i am just doing it with the two queries you can think it of a multiple query scenario right and let's say the product name is equal to pen right since i have commented this so this and does not make sense if i on comment it now this would make sense right so i do not want this statement you can simply comment it like this and then execute right so this is how you are going to use the single line comment i hope you got the idea of the single line comment and you now understand that how and where to utilize it okay coming back to my presentation i have this other kind of comment which is called the multi line comments right so as the name suggests it is used to comment the multiple lines in the sql statement right it won't be always necessary and it won't be always my need to comment a single line sometime i might have a requirement to comment multiple lines at once or multiple statement at once how i can do that so the syntax is absolutely simple you have to use this one a forward slash a star mark then followed by star mark and the backward slash right i would show you the importance of this one in the sql server but you need to understand that you can comment a single line using the two minus signs or dashes whereas for the multiple comments you use the forward slash and a asterisk mark and this is the closing dot right let's see that in explanation i am back in my sql server and i simply go and click on execute you would notice that i have got total three output windows right now let's say i have a requirement i do not want to get output of this one so one way is doing this this and this but if i have multiple lines let's say 5 10 15 20 20 it won't be a good idea to use the single line comments right so the solution is to use the multi line comments right how i can use that absolutely simple you simply have to go at the beginning and put this statement slash and put a star mark as soon as i put a star mark you would notice that now everything which is coming after this thing gets in green which means that sql now understand that i do not have to execute any of the statement which is following this thing right now think of a scenario that you also have some queries which are coming after this right so 1 2 3 total i have four queries i only want to comment the third one right but as soon as i put a starting colon it commented everything after is that my requirement the answer is no right so whatever you have opened the comment we need to specify and tell the sql right that you have to comment only till this point right so to do that since same like you have opened just go here at the end of the query put a star mark again and put a slash 
and that way now SQL understand that only I have to comment these three multiple lines and everything else has to be executed right so if I go and execute here you would notice that I am getting output of everything right let's say I do not want to execute this one also so this closing I'll just do a control plus X and put it here now I execute I'm getting only two line of comments right so that is how you can comment multiple lines in a sql the syntax is simple just put a slash asterisk and this one whatever you put inside this this become a multiple comment for the sql okay now <clears throat> i hope you understand what is a single and what is the multi-line comments right now what is the best practice and how i can use this to read and make the code readable right assuming this this is a very big script which i have written right i am working for a company right so before starting any query or before starting any script it would be good if i just write something in the comment box right let's say this module is for the login module okay i can always mention that this is the version 1.0 or 2.3 of the query this is developed by the developer is mukesh and what is the functionality right if you o n a l i functionality right the functionality is let's say this is the query or this can be a stored procedure for getting the login data from database right anything right now what is the benefit here the benefit is whenever anybody who is looking at this query they can understand that yes this is the module this is the version this has been developed by mukesh and this is the functionality right not only this whenever you are writing a big sql query which is like this right where you have a multiple statement right this is only three but think it of a very large sql right you can always start at the beginning like this and you can simply say that this is the query to get the product name right so that way when i am reading this this makes my code more readable and whenever you are yourself coming back you would notice that okay you have written this sql for this purpose right so comments are also can be used to incorporate some of the best practices when you are writing the sql right so that is how you use the multi-line comment you use this starting one and this closing one anything which is written between two becomes a comment for us okay let's quickly summarize we have seen that comments make the script easier to read and understand right we can prevent the sql statement from getting executed by putting a single line or the multiple line right a good practice is to write the description of the queries at the top or between the queries so that anybody or yourself understand that what actually this query does right and in sql server we can have both the single and the multiple line comments okay so i hope the concept is clear and you got the understanding of this comments right so with this i would like to wrap this video here if you have any more questions any more queries feel free to drop me a note on the comments or my email id so i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation mm -hmm.